everybody, it's Rez and happy Hallow's Eve and I hope you're having a great start off to your Halloween festivities. I um, hope it's going good. I hope everything's going great. I hope you're going to lots of trunk or treats or safe walks or whatever you're doing tonight. Hopefully you are having a blast. As for me, I am so sorry I have not been on. I have been sick and then I was in the hospital last night. It's just been crazy. So a week ago I ended up getting an ear infection um, strep throat and I got an ear and um, a sinus infection all at one time because when I get sick it just downpours like I I'm really sick and I'm feeling a lot better and then all of a sudden I went ahead and found out yesterday that I had this big abscess like on my stomach so I was it was getting worse it was painful it was really hurting so I went to the hospital last night and they had to dump me up and drain it and it wasn't even pussy and they don't even know what it is so I have to go see a dermatologist and it's just oh it's been a crazy mess so I had this big golf ball size friggin abscess so I had to get it like removed oh I'm gonna show you this is like I'm not gonna show you like the whole thing right I'm gonna show you like kind of what a little bit of it see there's my bandage my stretch mark scars sorry that's what having kids does to you I don't know what happened but it just didn't go well I wanted to get my eyebrows waxed today but I couldn't get my eyebrows waxed today because they were too busy and I had other things I had to get done because uh, tomorrow is Halloween and I am last minute, believe it or not. There were still some things I needed to get. Now that the little background of why well, I haven't really been on here a lot is over with, um, you guys will be seeing much more videos. I have an awesome video planned for you guys tomorrow, so I hope you guys like this one. So this video is going to be the Saw Makeup Tutorial. I am going to do saw makeup for you guys the way that I would I want to do it now as we know because of the last video when I did try to attempt this I broke out in a horrible rash because of the face makeup and I was burning and it was bad so we're gonna use a different kind of makeup crayons they're called so hopefully that doesn't irritate my skin I picked them up at Spirit Halloween and normally they have good quality makeup I did not go out to get cheap stuff but we're not going to do the whole face white not going to do what i originally planned so this is going to be like a nice saw look if you want to still look like good but you want to look not so good <laughs> i don't really know how to describe it so that's basically pretty much what we're doing today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do go ahead and give it two thumbs way 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 up and go ahead and subscribe and become a member of my crazy chaotic family because we have a lot of fun here on my channel. And also, if you want to follow me, don't forget to follow me at Facebook.com at Resurvey23, Instagram at ResiK24, and don't forget to send me a Snapchat. Resurvey23, same way as it is here. Um, yeah, but just because the Halloween festivities is going to be over with, it does not mean I am going to take down my Halloween stuff yet. Nope. So, the first few things we are going to be using will be in the description box below um, products names everything I guess I can show you what I'll use now I'm gonna use this palette that I did buy in the last video that did kind of well this makeup thing right here didn't give me a rash this tube cream stuff is what gave me the rash on my face we are gonna be using this and then we are going to be using Oh, my staples in life, which is a million different brushes because I can never have enough brushes. I got my makeup wipe removers on hand. All right, so this is the cream makeup, the makeup crayons I got. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be using is my Kat Von D palette. You all know the Mia Vita Loca. I love that palette. It is so much fun to work with. Got so many beautiful, awesome colors. I will be doing a review and swatches on that here soon. Brushes. I got so many makeup brushes, it's unbelievable. But when Sonya, I can't say it, I'm gonna say Sonya K. When Sonya K came out with these ones, I was a must have because I already own these limited edition art ones. But like I said, everything will be listed down below for your convenience.
First things first, we are going to do our eyes first. We're going to go ahead and use the Magic Perfecting Base by L'Oreal and go ahead and put that all over your eyelids and the bottoms, like where your bags are, because you want to be evenly coated for this. Next, you're going to take the color from the Mia Vita Loca palette in the color Skulls, and you're going to wipe it all on the top of both eyelids, just on the eyebrow region, like up in that area. That's all you want the white. Next, go ahead and take the color of black metal and just give yourself a really sunken eye, dead effect look. However you want to do it, however dark, go ahead. It's up to you. This is your look. Remember that. Go ahead and do the underneath the eyes. Make you look more dead and sunken in and demented and crazed. Also, go ahead and take the spirit. Um, no, not spirit. Sorry. This precision eyeliner pen and just do your lines. You don't have to do them. You can do them as thin, as dark as you want. You, they're really not going to be able to see it. Um, gives it a little more definition. Go ahead and take the Immortal Lash by Kat Von D and use one coat on each eye. That's what I did and um, it gives my your lashes a nice effect. So, like that. Look how beautiful. Next I'm going to take the red crayon marker and I'm going to draw it under my eyes. It's going to make me look more like zombie like, like dead, like just really crazed, red eye effect look, what I'm going for. Psychopathic, I guess, <laughs> as you can tell. Now that you look crazed, go ahead and draw in your white circles. Now you're going to start for the white circles as a base. This is going to be for your circles and the swirls, the red swirls, I did screw up on these so please do not leave me nasty comments saying I don't know how to draw because seriously this is the first time I've ever done a saw like tutorial on the saw doll so I just liked it a lot and I wanted to try it. I also tried the black for like definition and defining and it did not work out. I even took this big mattifying blush brush and went ahead to try to blend it out to make it look nice. I don't think it looked too bad, but I mean, I probably could have done things better. Now I'm making the red swirls on both cheeks. They are not even, I will admit. Um, I even went in with a black marker for more of a more of a detailed definition look. And like I said, first time I screwed up. I don't think it looks too bad though. I mean, it's Halloween. You don't have to be perfect. If you want to be perfect, then that's up to you, but to me, you don't have to be. Perfect the way you are and what you do. So basically, I like how the creepy doll mouth looks, so I gave myself a creepy doll mouth. And I'm going to put the two lines that come down to look like I have a spacer in between for talking and just make it look more like saw doll realistic. Um, yeah, just I'm using a black makeup crayon for my lips. I don't have a black lipstick. Unfortunately, you can use a black lipstick if you have that as well. So then I'm just drawing the lines on like I said. And then next you're going to go ahead and just take your hair and go ahead and just tease it up a bit. Scramble it about, make you look more crazy and demented. And if you have the actual saw outfit, go ahead and put that on. If you like this video, go ahead and give me two thumbs way, way, way up. And go ahead and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being all with me. And thank you for um, watching this video. Have a happy Halloween, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.